Hello creating family Alice here. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you step by step on how you can create an active PayPal account that receives payments without restriction. And this works anywhere you are in the world. And the beautiful part is you are not using any VPN for this PayPal account we are about to create. Before we begin, I would like to highlight the importance of following every single step carefully. Skipping or altering any step might cause issue in your account. So I would strongly recommend that you should watch this video all through first before attempting to create your account. The first most important precaution that you should take is not to use the Gmail account or email account that you have used to open a PayPal before to open this new account or you were trying to create a PayPal account but it did not go through but you have put in that email I would advise that you shouldn't use that kind of email to create email is very simple so why not create a brand new email for this PayPal account you want to open what happened is this once you have used any email to open a PayPal account before or you attempt to open a PayPal PayPal account it did not go through that email I've saved in PayPal database right once you try to use that email they will allow you to open the email and you can even put money inside the PayPal account but the big problem is when you want to withdraw that money you'll be unable to withdraw the money so to save yourself that stress I would strongly recommend that you should open a new Gmail account for creation of this PayPal account or if you have an email account that you have not used at all that you have not made attempt to open a PayPal account before please do well to use that Gmail okay so let's dive in go to any browser you are using and type paypal.com forward slash ls paypal.com forward slash ls please take notes type it on your browser exactly how it's showing on your screen right now just scroll down a little bit you will see sign up for free click on it it will load up and it will take you to an interface just like this so you scroll down you will see see for yourself why millions of people love paypal sign up for paypal it's free you are going to be choosing from these two accounts either a personal account or a business account okay so you are going to click on business account and click on continue it's going to load up and bring you to this interface where you can enter your details to create your business account so you are going to enter your first name you enter your last name you enter your email address and your password please take note of this important details before you enter your password okay said enter between 8 to 20 characters use upper and lower case letters enter at least one number or one symbol so make sure you follow this in order for your password to be accepted and secondly in order for your password to be a strong one okay so i've entered my password you just need to scroll down and check this box before you check it please make sure you read your user agreement and private statement okay once you've read it and you check on this box just click on agree and create account so it's going to load up and bring you to this security challenge where you tell them if you are a robot or not of course you are a human click on i'm not a robot then fill the capture and click on continue it's going to bring you to this interface where you need to confirm your email right all you need to do here is just for you to click on email you a code and they will send a code straight to your email all you need to do is for you to go to your email and copy the code then come back here and input it on it and click on submit it's going to load up and it's going to bring you to an interface just like this as you can see said you are all set just a second it's still loading once it's done loading you are going to see an interface just like this activate your account to start using paypal we will guide you every step of the way enter info about your business or organization share some personal info with us so you are just going to click on let's go We're going to load up and bring us to this interface before we start which describe you best this help you get the right tax form later when you scroll down you have two options to choose from it's either you choose individual seller slash sole proprietorship or you choose on business but i'm going to be choosing individual seller slash sole proprietorship so click on it when you click on it it's going to bring another drop down menu what you need to choose there is to choose sole proprietorship 
then you scroll down and click on next so it's going to load and take us to this interface so basically they are just asking us to confirm if our details are correct so do you have your legal name right yes my first name is correct my last name is correct so i'm just going to enter my date of birth and i will enter my nationality okay i'm done entering my date of birth it's time for me to enter my nationality so i'm going to click on it and there will be a drop down menu of different countries just take your time look for your country and click on it it's time for us to enter our phone number before you enter your phone number i have to look for your country code i'll click on it and i'll look for plus two three four because that's the country code nigeria so do well to enter your country code once you get it, put in your phone number i'm using my nigeria phone number because they are going to be sending a code to me the other number make sure the phone number is correct right after entering it you are going to enter your address i decide to enter address too but i'm skipping it then i'll go down to sitting town slash village i'm going to put abuja there same state province and region i'm still going to put abuja there and i'm going to impute my postal code and i'll click on next so it's going to load and bring you to this page tell us about your business or organization right you check that you see where it say what's your business code what your customer know you by and what shows up on their credit card statement to check this boss here you are going to see just use your full legal name for now right that's where i'm going to check but if you have a business name feel free to use your business name but mind you once you use this business name they are going to be asking you for so many things like your business number and all of that how weird you register it and many stuff like that so to be on the safe side just use just use your full legal name for now so you are going to scroll down see what's your business registration number don't panic this place just enter any random number right it's going to take it but the thing is make sure you have this number handy because you don't know when you might need it you might need it if you are leaking your bank account to the paypal account but just make sure that you have this random numbers handy okay so the next one is what is the primary currency for your business i let my at us dollar you can click on it and changes if you want to all right so the next one is what do you sell or what services do you offer you are going to click on it and it's going to bring down a menu like this showing you different stuff that you can choose right but i'm just going to be stinky with digital goods media ebooks moving or music so you click on it then they ask you do you have a business website if you have a business website you say yes and they are going to accept it and ask you for further details if you don't have just say no the next step is what's your business address i'm just going to use use your residential address i'll check on the box and my residential address will show here everything that i entered before we is going to show here all i need to do is just for me to click next and it will take us to the next step it's going to load and it will bring us to this page it said you are all set just click on go to home page it's going to load and it's going to take us to the next page as you can see our paypal account has been successfully created as you can see you say hi Ogene. glad you have joined us it means that our paypal account has been created so if you scroll down you are going to see let us make some recommendation just click on get recommendation it's going to load and it's going to open just like this here say for starters what does alice do is it do i sell product do i offer a service or others just going to click on offer a service i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to click on next all right it's going to load and open up an interface just like this got it now how do you want to accept money is it on your site do i want to accept money with an invoice or with shareable link i'm just going to click on with shareable link and i'll click on next thanks okay here are some tools to get you started select the one you want i'm just going to click on paypal.me just get your link and get paid then i will uncheck the other one and i'm going to click on next as you can see now you are all set your account is ready for business okay 
so our paypal account is all set and it's ready to receive money so when you scroll that this site you are going to be seeing our paypal is zero zero because we don't have any money on it now right so let's assume that you have done a transaction and someone needs to pay you via all you need to do is just for you to come to this page where it says create a payment link you click on product or service you click on there you are going to enter the particular service you did so i just entered content writing and you are going to enter the amount once you enter the amount you are going to click on build the link when you click on building link are going to see that the link that you copy and send to the person who wants to pay you money is ready just copy the link and send it and the person will be able to send you money into your new paypal account for you to be able to add your bar click on those three dots and it's going to open then navigate your way to pay and get paid you click on it it's going to open another interface just navigate your way to back and cut click on it as you can see you have two options for you to leak a bank or for you to leak a can you can decide on the one that you are going to leak so in my next video I'm going to be doing another video on how you can leak a bank or on how you can leak a card so be on the lookout for that if you want me to create that video please do let me know in the comment section okay now that you have a PayPal account why not actually testing it to see if it works just as I cleaned the best way to test it without risking money is by sending money into the PayPal account you just created. I'm talking about easy money that you did not labor hard for. These two videos that are showing up on your screen will actually send free money directly into your PayPal account. All you need to do is to read and get paid $40 per hour or you just upload photos and earn $10 any photo you upload how cool is this so click on anyone you like for you to test that PayPal account if it's actually working you have three seconds to click either of the videos before they disappear 